assalamu alaikum students welcome to your channel the anatomy canvas in today's class we are going to discuss with the slides of the nervous system that is neurosciences module block d and the first slide today is that of the cerebellum and in this cerebellum you can see this is this area is the cerebellar gray matter and in the center you can see the white matter so this gray matter consists of the three layers then the outer layer over here this is the outer molecular layer then the middle layer which is the layer of the purkinje cell fibers and then the inner layer this consists of the inner granular layer so Uh, in this diagram, the outer molecular layer, the middle Purkinje cell layer, and inner granular layer, and next is the white matter. In this, this is another slide at low magnification of cerebellum, in which you can see different folia of the cerebellum which are present. This is again the outer area. This is the molecular layer, then the middle Purkinje cell layer, then the inner granular layer, and this is the white matter. another slide uh, with the different stain this is the special stain for the nervous tissue so here in which you can see this is the outer area where the molecular layer is present and here you can see the inner middle granular layer and then the uh, middle purkinje cell layer and then the inner granular layer another slide of the cerebellum at low magnification in which you can see this is the gray matter of the cerebellum this is the white matter of the cerebellum and in this gray matter you can see this is the molecular layer then it is the uh, layer of the purkinje cell fibers and then the granular cell layer another slide of the cerebellum in which you can see this is the folia of the cerebellum this whole thickness of the cerebellar gray matter and in this you can see this area is the molecular layer this area is that of the purkinje purkinje cell and this is the inner granular layer and in the center you can see the white matter this is another slide of the cerebellum at low magnification and in this this hole is the thickness of the cerebellar cortex and this area is the white matter where you can see the axonal fibers which exit from it and in this gray matter you can see the three areas the outer molecular middle layer of this uh, purkinje cells which are present in the form of a row and then the inner granular layer So this is another slide of the cerebellum in which you can see this is the whole thickness of the gray matter here you can see the molecular layer the purkinje cell layer and the inner granular layer then another slide of the cerebellum at 4x magnification in which you can see the different folias of the cerebellum the cerebellar cortex and this outer layer this is the whole thickness of the cerebellar gray matter in this this is the outer molecular layer then this small is the middle layer uh, which is the purkinje cell layer in which you can see these large cells which are evident in this magnification are uh, the purkinje cell and then is the inner granular layer and in the center you can see the axons the almost uh, same slide the different folias of the cerebellum molecular purkinje cell and granular layer and in the center the axons are present almost the same slide with the special stain the outer molecular layer then the purkinje cell layer and the granular layer and in the center you can see the white matter another slide a beautiful slide at higher magnification in which you can see this is the molecular layer which contains the synapses between the axons and the dendrites of different neurons these are the uh, molecule and purkinje cell layer and in which you can see these large large flask shaped cells these are purkinje cell in which you can see the nucleolus nucleus with the prominent nucleus is also present and then this is the molecular layer This is the slide at lower magnification of the nerve fiber this is the longitudinal section of the nerve and this is the cross section the same cross section of the nerve at higher magnification in which you can see a bundle of the nerve fiber which is covered by the epineurium and the covered by the the epineurium over here and in the center you can see cross section of the axons which are covered by the neurilemma so the same slide at higher magnification in which you can see um, like this is the area which in which this is the section of the nerve fiber and in the center you can see this is the axon and this area is covered by the neurilemma so these are all diff these all are different sections of the axon this is the same slide which was the previous one but at higher magnification in center you can see axon which is covered by the neurilemma 
almost the same slide of the cross section of the nerve fiber in which again you can see the axon which is present covered by neurilemma and this is the perineurum. The slide of the ganglia in which you can see these are the neuronal cell bodies which are present over here and these neuronal cell bodies are covered by the satellite cells which uh, give support to these uh, neuronal cell bodies and these are the fibers, the axons which are exiting from the neuronal cell body. These are longitudinal section and these one are the cross section of these axons. This is the slide taken through the cerebral cortex and from here to this area this is the whole thickness of the cerebral cortex and in which a six layer organization is present the outer molecular layer then the outer granular layer the outer pyramidal cell layer inner granular inner pyramidal cell and plexiform layer but remember this is difficult to differentiate between all these layers even at this magnification because there is no clear cut boundary between all of these layers This is another slide of the spinal cord, a very beautiful slide and in this slide you can see this is the anterior median fissure, the posterior median sulcus, the anterior horn of the spinal cord, the posterior or dorsal horn of the spinal cord, here the dorsal nerve roots. In the center you can see the central canal, this is the anterior gray commissure and the posterior gray commissure and in this anterior horn you can see large cells which are the parameter cells are also present. Again another slide in which you can see this is the butterfly shape area. This is the spinal cord, the gray matter. This is the central canal of the spinal cord. This is the anterior horn and posterior horn and you can differentiate between the two by the presence of the large pyramidal cells which are present in anterior horn. This is the posterior white column and this one is the anterior white column. Again another slide, this is the gray matter, this is the butterfly shape area, you can see here is the anterior median fissure and posterior median sulcus, here is the central canal, this is the anterior horn and this is the posterior horn. Another slide taken through anterior horn of the spinal cord in which you can see large cells, these are the pyramidal cells and this is the white matter. Another slide in which you can see this area, all this all area is the butterfly shape area of the spinal cord in which in the center you can see the um, central canal which is present. This is the anterior horn and this one is the posterior horn. It's the same slide at lower magnification. So this one is a beautiful slide of the retina whenever it is present in exam it is just to pass you in this diagram you can see the 10 layer organization of the retina. So first we are looking at this layer this is the retinal pigment epithelium then this is the layer of the rods and cone then this is the layer of the outer or external limiting membrane then outer nuclear layer which contains nuclei of rod and cone then this is outer plexiform layer then inner nuclear layer which contain different types of the neurons and then inner plexiform layer and then these are the ganglionic cell and this layer is given the name of ganglionic cell layer and this is the layer of the nerve fiber and then inner limiting membrane. So these are the 10 layers of the retina. This is a very easy slide. Another slide in which you can see this is the retina, this area is the choroid and this is the sclera. So in this retina you can see the retinal pigment epithelium present over here, then layer of rods and cones, the outer limiting membrane, outer nuclear layer, outer plexiform, inner nuclear, inner plexiform, layer of the ganglionic cell fibers, the optic nerve fibers and inner limiting membrane. Here you can see the three layers of the Co-ride with the large blood vessel, the choriocapillary layer, and then you can see this clearer. Another beautiful diagram of the retina in which this area is the retina, this is the choroid, this is the sclera and in retina you can see all the 10 layer organization. Then again you can see this is the cross section of some skeletal muscle, some of the extraocular muscle which is taken into this slide. Then this is the cross section of the nerve fibers in which you can see different axons which are present in the center covered by the neurilemma. This is the section of the ganglia. In this you can see the neuronal cell bodies which are present in the ganglia and these are covered by satellite cells. And in this area you can see these are the exiting axons of these neuronal cell bodies and here you can see the cross section of these axonal fibers. 
again another slide with h and e stain of the ganglia in which you can see neuronal cell bodies which are present with the prominent nucleus and nucleolus and uh, covered by the satellite cells and these are the exons which are coming out of these neuronal cell bodies this is the slide of the tongue also part of your exam in neurosciences as well as in GIT module so it is included in both of these modules here you can see these are the modification of the surface of the uh, 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 anterior surface of the tongue upper surface of the tongue these are the papilla these papilla are the uh, foliate papilla these are finger shape these are covered by the stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium and also having the taste buds here you can see the connection Active tissue, the skeletal muscles with different directions, and here you can see the uh, mucus acini, which is present. This is the under surface of the tongue, which is covered by the stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium, but there are no papilla. So this is the slide of the tongue with trichromesin trichrome stain. This is the slide of the tongue which has an E stain. This is under surface of the tongue. Here you can see stratified squamous non-keratinized type of epithelium. In this area you can see the large number of the lymphoid follicle may be the part of the lingual tonsils. Here you can see the large number of the mucus acini which are embedded in the substance of the tongue. And in this area you can see the uh, glands which are present over here. Sorry, the skeletal muscles which are present over here. This is the um, uh, foliate papilla at higher magnification in which you can see stratified squamous non-keratinized type of epithelium with large number of the taste buds which are present over here. This is the core of the papilla and here it contains large number of the lymphoid follicles. Another slide of the tongue from the under surface here you can see stratified squamous non-keratinized type of epithelium then small amount of the connective tissue and skeletal muscle fibers running in different directions. Another slide showing you the uh, filiform papilla over here and the stratified squamous keratinized epithelium and then the skeletal muscle running in different directions. This is again another slide the foliate papilla which are present in a form of the rose. This is the under surface of the tongue. Here you can see the connective tissue, the skeletal muscles uh, which are present in different direction and with the blue stain you can see the mucus acini which are present. So this is the slide with the Mason's trichrome stain. Another slide, this is a slide of the lip at lower magnification. On both sides, you can see the epithelium. This is one of your identification point. And in the center, you can see the um, core of the skeletal muscle. Also, the uh, mucus acini are present over here. Same slide at high magnification. This is the mucus side, which is covered by stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium. Here you can see large number of the mucus acini are present. This is the mucus membrane, sorry. And this is the uh, cutaneous area which is covered by stratified squamous keratinized epithelium in the core you can see the muscle. The same slide again another view this is the uh, cutaneous area this is the red area this is not covered by keratin but the thickness of uh, the papilla they are, they are the tall papilla and then this is the mucus side which is again stratified squamous non keratinized. This is another slide of the parotid gland and please remember this parotid gland is again your part of this module as well as in GIT because of the location it is present in neurosciences and because it is part of the GIT so it is also present so you have to uh, uh, learn the parotid gland slide in this as well. So these are the different SNI, these are the serous SNI, this is purely a serous gland. This is another slide again part of the neurosciences because it is present in the neck area the thyroid and para thyroid and also present in block F which is the endocrine module in which you can also see this slide as well. So here you can see this area is the thyroid and this is the parathyroid which is embedded in the substance of the thyroid and in this thyroid you can see thyroid follicles are present which are lined by simple cuboidal epithelium which you cannot appreciate at this magnification. In the center of the follicle, you can see the colloid is present. Also, this is your last slide for today's class. And here uh, I end my today's lecture. Thank you very much for your attention and best of luck for your ASPI exam. Allah Hafiz.